We designed and built the haptic bracelets at the Open University entirely for musical purposes, but we discovered they are also rich communication devices with uses in quite unexpected areas, such as rehabilitation for Parkinson's and stroke. One of the really interesting things about these projects is that in many cases, we started by thinking about purely musical applications, but this has spun out into useful technologies in diverse other areas. The haptic bracelets are high-tech bracelets worn on both wrists and ankles. They have many uses for individuals, but they are particularly interesting when used for communication and coordination between people. The word haptic means communication by sense of touch, and the haptic bracelets contain tiny computers, accelerometers and vibrotactiles. The vibrotactiles are a bit like those in smartphones, but virtually instantaneous, precisely controllable, and with a large dynamic range. With this application, you will feel in each limb, as you listen to the music, exactly what each limb of the drummer is doing. For people interested in music, or who want to get more actively engaged with music, this is a compelling application. When learning drums, it can be difficult to know what limb does what when. But with the haptic bracelets, you can feel exactly what each of your teacher's limbs are doing. You can also make a haptic recording for later and play back your teacher's movements slowed down. There are also applications for rehabilitation from various neurologically caused conditions. For example, many stroke victims need help to correct an asymmetrical gait. We are currently working with neuroscientists and physiotherapists to explore three new approaches using the haptic bracelets. In the simplest approach, Instead of using a traditional ticking metronome, we use haptic pulses applied directly to the legs or wrist, a sort of haptic metronome. Secondly, when away from the hospital, if the patient drifts back into bad habits, a pair of bracelets worn on the legs can monitor the situation and give gentle reminders to pay attention to the gait as needed. So, what are the wider lessons? Well, if you are interested in creating flexible, wearable, intuitive technologies, you need to understand embodiment. That means dealing with bodies, movements, gestures and senses. One good way to understand embodiment is to work with people who have to pay careful attention to it every day. This includes musicians, dancers, sports people, older people and people with disabilities. So, we hope that by focusing on people who must deal with extraordinary demands every day, we can improve things for everyone. <laughs>